G'day, welcome back to Reels and Wheels. We're on day three of working on the buggy. Uh, Darcy's gonna cop us some seats. Got the new racing seats, mate. Yeah, they're very nice. Check it out. So we're gonna have a five point harness going through. Run up the crutch. And um, yeah. Should we have a lifesaver? Oh, these are actually pretty cheap, bro. Not too expensive, especially for this application. Like and 138 plastic, plastic, get them muddy, fuck them up, doesn't really matter, you know? Yeah. Especially like some of those fabric seats. Especially if we're going to be taking this steed through the mud and shit. But our goal for today is we're going to be get the big dog down here. cutting these sills off. So the reason why we're doing that is we're going to be running our bar work down around and it's going to be cutting in underneath here and rolling in the side next to the floor yeah rock slider spec yeah so if we go in bash the side of the truck doesn't really matter right yeah Beauty. other goal of the day is to make our rear rear frame so we've got some box section that we're going to put through here mount our tow bar and recovery points i'll just show you that big dog yeah, we Darcy, actually scored a, um, a structural one. beam off site. Still, so stole the, it out the scrap bin. The old builders were chucking it away, so um, claim that. Yeah. It actually ended up being the perfect thickness yeah, as the chassis, as the chassis over here, so it actually fits in perfect. It's going to strengthen all this up. Yeah. Make a mean rear bar. Oh, you guys didn't see, but I cut out oh. this section and removed the gas tank. So yeah. We're going to have to relocate that up here. And these are our two fuel lines, so we're going to have to break that out and bend them back. Kinda. Yeah, reform them up to where the new fuel tank's going to be up here behind the seats. Yeah. I mean, when we got the seats, we set them in, and I can't even see over the dash, eh? They're so <laughs> bloody low. So we've got some more box section that we're going to make some packers, pack them on up. Yeah, so they are set up in here. So yeah, where those were sitting, your eyes are literally at the top of the steering wheel. So we're gonna pack it up. I'm gonna probably put like what was it like 120? Yeah. 120 mil on there, so should be cool. Yeah, and Darcy's like four inches taller than me, so we're gonna have to find a happy medium because <laughs> they're not gonna be adjustable. So try and fit my long legs where his short legs gonna fit <laughs> or reach. Um. Yeah, I suppose. If we do have enough time, we can maybe potentially see if we can cut a piece to go in here. Yeah. To be welded up. That'd be nice to do, eh? And that's going to form like the start of the front bar. Start of the bar, possibly the winch support. Yep. So same thing again, it's going to be that solid blue beam right across through here. Solid as. And then we're still figuring out what we want to do with all of the front end here. Whether or not we cut, cut and angle it out, or just leave it. I think we'll come. Up. We'll decide what we're going to do with that when we come to it. Eh? Yeah. So yeah, it looks like let's yeah. get some work done. Let's get into it. going to be sitting below the floor oh, so yeah. this would be flush with the top of the front. Yeah nice, yeah. stitch on the top. Yeah.
What are you up to, mate? Got my packers, mate. Yeah. So close. Wait, it's it's gone different. through there. Why won't it go through there? It's um, I think it's no different thicknesses, or the blades worn itself out. <laughs> yeah. But it's it's 20 mil off the body mount. That's right. Where that cut is, so it's not That's actually good. touching it at all. Yeah. So when we put the bar through, it'll literally cut right up next to it. Yeah. Hey, Bubba! Hey! So that's what we wanted to get off. Definitely not getting off now. <laughs> Weight reductions, bro. <laughs> nah, man, now you can actually see. That looks pretty cool. What is going on with the floor here? And so what, the, what our plan is, is that the bar work is going to come right along here and sit pretty much across in here. And just stitch straight on. And then roll around and then underneath here. Main. Now the next goal is try and get that piece out. She gone. <laughs> I just want to test the seat out. Yep. Going with 150.
for the hammer. I think by the time we um, buff that shit off the inside, yeah, it'd pretty much be banging on. Let's just smash them for now. Brackets in the way. <laughs> Unreal. Uh, how's that for fitment, bro? Who measured that? That's mean, man. Man. Do you want to grab that toe bar? Beauty. And then two recovery hooks. Pretty on, bro. That's me, bro. Oh, well. That's two of the jobs um, done today. Yep. Flat battery, oh. Boom. There goes the sway bar. Yep. One half of it anyway. There's the other half. So, the reason we don't need a sway bar is because this is an off-road vehicle. It's, it gives the body some more roll and a bit more articulation. Yeah, especially if these back wheels corner at 100k on a motorway and it's, it says 65 but you're going 100 because you're psycho your your body would roll and your body would actually pull you off the road if you yeah. have a sway bar yeah but we're going to be sweet with this and we're still because we're going to be flexing over dunes and yeah. mud bogs and holes and sticks and stumps but yeah yeah darcy looked into the forums and because there's a front and rear sway bar and according to Darcy's forum research, the front bar, sway bar, if you remove it, it does sweet fuck all, so we may as well leave her in. Yeah. But yeah. So, but the rear one, apparently you gain, oh, probably like an up to, up to two to four inches, I reckon, or even more travel, so. Every little inch um, counts. Beauty, oh, she's actually starting to take shape at the back here now. That bar looks cool, man. That's should, be that, should be the front one. Yeah, can do. Get done. Well, she's slowly coming together. Rear bar sitting where it's going to be. Seats pretty much sitting where they're going to be. Man. Successful for three or four hours on a Sunday. Beauty. It's now eight o'clock, so we've got to pack up and get ready for work tomorrow. Yep. Don't want to be too loud for the neighbours there. Uh, too late. Yeah. Man. So yeah, I guess we all got some steel. Get our water in, and then um, yeah, we'll start bending some shit up. Get the welder in. Yep. Weld all this shit up. We're gonna have to go buy one. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> but hey, to be honest, a tool that you're always gonna use anyway. Yeah, so. yeah, it's a good investment. I'm a fabricator yeah. too, I should already have one. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, by the looks, I reckon what we'll do is we'll end up taking this floor back a little bit. Yeah. And then that fuel tank's pretty much gonna be sitting up to about here. Yeah just so we yeah. can get it as low as we can off that and then have our flat deck some crazy roll bars yeah it's so pretty much the bar works going to come up down back down to the back where the floor is and then down to the back okay. proud of us man and then we've um
that's fuel tank there. So we're gonna figure out how we're gonna get this dog. See how big it is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. 60 litres, I'd say. Especially with how fuel prices are at the moment. Right. It's nuts at the moment, eh? Bro, here in New Zealand, it just hit four dollars a litre. Yeah, it's ridiculous. This thing's a petrol. We're lucky because diesel's a bit cheaper in New Zealand, um, and we drive diesels apart from this thing. Yeah, but hey, get that in there. Suss out how we're gonna do all these um, all these feeds. Yeah. And get all those back on. I've got an idea on it. I think I think she'll be right. Yeah, it should be easy. Oh, let's uh, pack some shit up, roll it away. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Till next weekend. And um, yeah, stay tuned for the next episode, I suppose. Oh, fucking drop in the comments what you think the name should be. We we haven't named it yet. No. Yeah, we've been discussing what we should call it. What should we say? Some of the. Well, we, nah. nah, don't say it yet. Nah. nah. Drop some comments, see what you reckon it should be called. See if anyone's smarter than us. <laughs> <laughs> and if we pick it, we'll do something. Chat you out or something. Yeah.